When did you do this? There's something you're not telling me, Anne May. Every time I mention my parents, your eyes go down. I know that you're not telling me something. You lie to me. I know you love me. I don't I know lie. you love me, but you do. Anne May, Anne May. You have to tell me, May. That's my father. Yes, he was your father. But that didn't seem to stop him from leaving you. Here. I need the truth. The truth is your parents left you here on our doorstep. And you were this little boy whose whole world was turned upside down with no explanation. We did the best we could. Your Uncle Ben, him and I. I mean, who else was going to care for you and protect you and worry about you? Your father? No, I was the one who wiped your nose and made you brush your teeth and do your homework and washed your dirty underwear. Me, your stupid, non-scientific aunt who doesn't know how to make ends meet, who has to take nursing classes with 22-year-old kids so I can pay for you to go to college. And I don't know how to do this without Ben. I don't know how. And, and you're dreaming about your perfect father who was never here. No. No, I won't tell you. You're my boy. As far as I'm concerned, you're my boy. And I won't hurt you. I'm your boy. You're my everything. You're enough. You're more than enough. That's not what it's about. Don't get that twisted. I love you so much. It's okay. It's okay. May. I need to know. But it will hurt you. Okay. A few days after the funeral, two government men came to see us. They said the genetics research that your father was doing with Norman Osborne was very valuable and that people would pay a lot for it. And that's why he ran off with it. They said he was a traitor. I couldn't believe it, Peter. They told us he betrayed his best friend, all of us, for the money. I don't... Oh, I don't get it. No, I don't. This doesn't make sense. Yes, I know. I know. I didn't believe it either. I didn't believe it. It doesn't make any sense. Peter, I don't know. For so long, I would play it over and over and over in my head. What had I missed? What had I missed? He was just this normal, unassuming guy. He wore the same ratty lab coat for 20 years. He took the D train to work at 7 every morning, came home at 6 every night. I don't know. Maybe everyone has a part of themselves they hide. Even from the people they love. Rob Horn.